three, two. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to episode 54 of the Lord of My Show. You I, was counting, I was doing the countdown, brother. Yeah, but you didn't. You've been reminding me of someone lately as well. Oh, let me guess. What, Jimmy Savile? Why would it be Jimmy Savile? I don't Savile? know. I don't know. I was just thinking of like the worst person ever. Hitler. No, Turkish uh, Kwondel Dingle. Are you fucking... What? You move like him. Nah, he's bare cute. His he, cameo is £60. Yeah, no, it's more than that now. It's $100. $100 for $100. a cameo. He said that in a month he'd made 30 k <laughs> From going to one... But life can be so easy for some people. <laughs> he made 30 k He knows what he's doing. They're all... Yeah, but they didn't at the start. Well, they didn't, they didn't mean to come into this realm of the TikTok party. I think they were being... They were being themselves no. in that dance party. Mm, While well, you say there's that, there's no chance there's that the white <laughs> tie, whatever he's fucking called, blue tie, the blue, blue tie dance. guy, whatever he's called, he dances. That's him. <laughs> yeah, that's him. <laughs> that is just how he operates. But the I've seen like a behind the scenes of the TikTok party, and it's like the DJ is being like, "All oh, the boys, I need you to come on, come to the front." All oh, the boys, I need you to like, come. It's like the boys are doing way more than the girls right now. Your boys, you got to show up the girls. You got to come to the front when the song drops. And he's like directing it, and everyone's calling the DJ Zack Snyder. <laughs> 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 he directed the whole thing, so yeah. it would go viral. And he was foreshadowing it as well. He's like, "If you don't move, like the people that don't move in this bit are gonna get roasted online and blah blah." blah. And, and he actually did. Yeah, they actually did. Tomato Kid. Yeah, how old is the guy who directed them all then? He's got to be in his 30s or something. And, he and they're all like, like 15 that. or 16. Yeah. There's this one fucking guy at school. I'm not saying like at my school, because yeah. I don't go to school. Yeah. I'm 25. <laughs> I was saying at that school, who's like mimicking Kwondel, Turkish Kwondel Dingle. Yeah. Also, can I just say, Kwondel Dingle, if he just logged himself out of his computer that day, no one would know that name. What do you mean? The meme, Quandale Dingle. You know, that's a real person. No. He graduated from college. <laughs> you don't know. Quandale <laughs> Dingle is an actual person. Yes. The way, the reason why it's funny is because it was just this quiet kid at school. No one knew him. And one day he forgot to log himself out of his Windows computer. So it said in a big writing, log in Quandale Dingle. <laughs> and someone took a picture and said, look at this goofy on there. <laughs> <laughs> and it went viral but so they called him the Turkish version of that yeah and well no one knows what Kondale Dingle looks like they just assume it's like a guy that's like that looks like he has the name Kondale Dingle that's amazing because one of the topics today was some parents must hate their kids to give them certain names exactly Kondale Kondale Dingle well Kondale is bigger than you think Kondale more is, normal but Dingle is a surname <laughs> when he graduated college they filmed it and he was like Da, 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 da. Quandale Dingle and everyone went mental it's like the Key and Peele sketch <laughs> when they just make up names <laughs> yeah. I th- wasn't Quandale Dingle a name in that sketch probably I think it was for some reason yeah I think I so. think it was but it's a real name Quandale Dingle is a real person and he's now the Turkish Quandale Dingle <laughs> it's only because he's got a big nose but his nose isn't even that big no it really isn't he'll grow into it as well he'll grow into his nose yeah like I grew into my teeth for sure. Did yeah. you? You met me when I was ten. Yeah, eleven. And you? How old are you? Like twenty three. <laughs> <laughs> Such so. a bad joke. No, yeah, we were like ten, eleven. Yeah. So when I was like, it was when cars came out in two thousand six. So twenty seven, twenty zero seven. Twenty zero seven. Everyone called me Mater. Yep. Because I had these teeth. I had these big teeth. With a small head. Yeah. <laughs> so everyone called me Mater and my mum started it. The fucking... Your mum started the joke? My mum said it, I look like Mater. Like, <laughs> like when we went to watch Cars, she went, that looks like you. Oh, she probably went it innocently, innocently as well. Yeah, but it stuck for a while until I got bigger. And then Mater. I was in the gym and got bigger, filled, yeah. out, filled out my teeth. But he'll grow into his nose. What do you think is the worst name that you've ever been friends with? Been Not to call him out with. or just like heard of? Because like... Cornelius yeah but that's like an old name I know my old best mate's next door neighbour was called Fanny Buttknuckle that was not their real name swear Fanny Buttknuckle Fanny Buttknuckle they were German <laughs> that could make sense yeah well I don't, very unfortunate. I, actually, I don't know how true that was because I know that my friend's mum was like a prankster yeah and she always used to say oh that's Fanny Buttknuckle like what next door's Fanny Buttknuckle and it just used to make me laugh so much because then I didn't even know what Fanny was yeah 
Yeah, loads of old people were called funny. Yeah, funny's like a... Where, how did that even... How did that come across then? Mm. How the fuck did... Like, why is a woman's downstairs department... Why is that called a fanny? I don't know. I don't know if there's any actual fucking science to it. Fanny. Fanny. That's such a fucking weird... Sound. Fanny. Yeah, but why is there... So- <laughs> 25 by the way why is there so many different names for everything though i like, think that's like an english thing. i think that's an english thing yeah. it's got to be because in german or any language i don't know why i singled out germany but i like, deserve it <laughs> whoa we got german I'm joking listeners. obviously we got, we got the, the, them germans can't pay for their ancestors crimes uh, they can <laughs> <laughs> and they do for their lack of human i'm joking <laughs> i'm joking we love the germans yeah we do we got two percent I think 2% Spotify listeners are German. Yeah. And uh, Avidazin. <laughs> butt knuckle. <laughs> Funny butt knuckle. She's a listener. No, we do love the Germans. Shout out. If you're German you and you do- watch this, we love you. If you're German and you don't watch this, fuck you. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't think of any other names that would be um, just unfortunate. Or. I was going to say, you could flip it. What's the coolest names ever? Ooh. One that stands out to me, Yves Saint Laurent. That was his fucking Yves. name. Yves Saint Laurent. Yeah. Yves. Yeah, Yves that Saint is a Laurent. cold name, yeah. Or Martin Luther King. <laughs> I have a dream. <laughs> I have a dream. He just had the sickest name. Yeah. Like, oh, how did his parents oh, knew that? We're not laughing at I have a dream, by the way. We're laughing because Matt shouted it out the other day for no reason and then said, I don't even know why I said that. So he yeah. just possessed me. I, that was weird because I wasn't even thinking about Martin Luther King and I just shouted it and Lloyd was like why did you, you, you looked at me and I was like I didn't even, was that me? <laughs> Our it was, body just, it was just us next to each other cuddling and shit mm. like that there's some athletes who have had cold names Usain Bolt yeah that is How unbelievable is, is that a stage name? I don't know that's what I was thinking is that his real name? because Bolt that's a bit of a coincidence unless he unless he was like shit I, I gotta be the Bolt. Yeah. When he was young. I gotta be the Bolt. <laughs> what was. Did Bolt have any nicknames? Flash or anything like that? No. Don't think he did. Didn't need it with a surname like Bolt. Yeah. But then the there's Bolt. loads of like NFL players called like Power Smith and something like that. Power? Yeah. Like random ass there, names. You were telling me there's someone with a first name Power. I think so. That's Cap. No one's got a first name Power. There's. Maybe not. Uh, probably. Let me search like coolest names ever. I wanna see what comes up. <laughs> Lloyd Boucher. Yeah. <laughs> Hack the filtering system. Okay, this is... Oh my God, this is such a boring list. What? It's giving me like cool creative baby names. Oh. Elvio, Brynden, Brando, Kelvis, Redford, Tarrant. Do you reckon... We know a Tarrant. Tarrant. Oh, Tarrant. We know a Tarrant. Yeah, yeah, Tarrant. we did actually. I made up a lie that he slept in a Wendy house. <laughs> <laughs> and it just stuck, stuck. forever. Stuck. Sleeping in his Wendy house. There was a basketball player, actually. I can't remember what his real name was, but he changed his name to Meta World Peace. He... It, what? He changed his name to Meta World Peace. Meta? And have you ever heard of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? Yes. That's not his real name. What's his real name? Like, um... I can't remember. Meta World Peace was called, like, Ron Artest, maybe? Was what? His, was his actual name? Yeah, Ron Artest is now called Meta Sanderford Artest. And at one point was called Meta World Peace. Why the fuck would you change your name to Meta World Peace? I don't know. Is it like, do you reckon like there was a, like he wanted world peace of some kind? Like there's <laughs> yeah, got to be a is, meaning yeah, to but it. What's Meta got to do? What Meta? Not like Meta, like Facebook. It's a double T. It's Meta World Peace. Yeah, but what I does don't Meta know. mean? I don't know. I reckon it might be a charity or something. Oh, maybe. Imagine changing it. Yeah, that's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kareem Abdul Jabbar's real name or like his birth name. Uh, was I bet it was Quandale Dingle Ferdinand Lewis Alcindor Jr So I think people would, would I think he was known as <laughs> Lewis Alcindor Was he born Jr. in the 17th century? What the fuck is he that was born in, He is old He's bloody yeah, He's not fucking 300 Oh no he's only 77 Yeah he's not 300 He's not that old <laughs> Lou Yeah they, people used to call him La, Lou Alcindor Lou Alcindor Lou Alcindor Which is quite a cold name in that, his own Lou yeah. Alcindor And then it changed to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar I think he changed faith I think. Right, right. And he changed sense. it to Kareem Abdul Jabbar. I just had a name in my head that I just was like, <clears throat> oh, fuck. What were, we, what were we talking about? Names? Yeah, before Wondell that. Dingle? Before that. Oh, yeah. So, 
I've told you this before, but my brother and his entire flatmate, yeah. flatmates. In his uni, entire flatmate as opposed to just <laughs> half of him. His entire... So my brother and his flatmates at uni pranked this one guy. Yeah. By changing his name, like getting all the, the letters and the certificates and everything. They changed his name to... Oh, what's that guy? What's that like old... It's not Pinocchio. What, like an old toy? Like an old story. I forgot. I forgot. What is what like? What's a German Austrian like? Old. It's not Pinocchio. I oh, don't know. Fuck. Like an old childhood story. Yeah. That's me... like German or some shit. There's definitely viewers like saying it out loud right now. Going, it's this. Say it. It's this. Um. I don't know. It's a long name. Hansel and Gretel. No. <laughs> But it was like a long name, like a huge name. It's literally on the tip of my tongue as well. I guess you're never going to know. I guess you guys are never... But they changed his name on paper to... I've thought of it. I remember what is it? Rumpelstiltskin. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> they changed his name to Rumpelstiltskin. Legally. Well, fake. Fakely. And he went mental. Like he went ballistic. Because they, they got certificates for everything. Driving license, passport saying oh you have to pay 30 pound to get a new id 80 pound to get this yeah and your new legal name is rumpelstiltskin just no surname just rumpelstiltskin yeah just one name that's like unreal. neymar that's so good <laughs> neymar we should, do, we should do that to Kui. yeah what should we name him though rumpelstiltskin the third third of his name <laughs> i was in a I also i was about to say i think the worst punishment for someone should be putting them in a lift with someone who farts potentially i was in a lift the other day with four other dudes. Was I one of the no, dudes? No. No one I knew. And someone farted. Loud. And all five of us just stood in silence. No one knew. No one knew who did it. Nope. It was you on it. No, it wasn't me. Oh, come on. I swear on my life. Come on, you let out stinkers. No, I swear on my life. No, I don't. Yes, <laughs> was, you do. This one was loud. You do let out some... I never do. Oh. I never, never around anyone. Oh, I've been meaning to ask this question since the, literally the day we moved here. Yeah. So I don't know why I'm saying it on a pod. Okay. Do you hear my farts in the morning? No. Go on, be honest. No, I don't. Okay, that's that's a good sign then. Why? Because uh, I wake myself up by farting. They're that bad? They're loud. Really? And they're like, they're like, they're almost like they're, I'm directing it to your room. You know when you sh- shout and I know you're in your room? Yeah. I can like signal my voice around the corner. I think you just speak, you fucking idiot. You don't <laughs> bend your fucking voice around a wall. But you know what I mean. It's almost like I'm saying... No, because I know that you actually think that you can speak differently and it will bend it around no, the wall. No, but you do speak differently because it's like I've got to speak like in a different in a different pitch to for my sound waves to get to you quicker. And I've got to... It's just a different volume. Look, you're not curving your fucking speech around the wall. Yes, I am. That's no. how. How does speech get there then? Yeah, but you're not doing it. It does, and it goes up the stairs. Technically, yeah, but it all just—it's just. So I'm right. It no. goes around the corner. It you can't control the, the direction. Yes, you can. You no, can. you can't. If someone was stood on your left and someone was stood on your right, you could not just speak to the person on your right by bending the fucking. Yeah, vol- you could. They would hear him. The person on the left would hear That's him. That's what I'm saying. But I'd be speaking to him. Not if you're, sp- if you're speaking directly yep. down the middle, they will both hear you equally. Yeah, I would say person on the right, person on the left. I'd say, person on the right, can you hear me? And he'd say, yeah. And then person on the left would be like, I heard you too. And I'd be like, I weren't fucking speaking to you, mate. But he would, that's not how it fucking works. It just happened to go that way as well. You can- <laughs> I'm not that good at it yet. <laughs> you have mastered the art of bending the fucking sound. There's going to be some knobhead as well who comments, yeah, you can actually bend sound. You just yeah, it'll be me. Inflict your voice. <laughs> <laughs> But you can be like, hello there. That was... <laughs> how are you, what are you trying to prove? I, I was trying to get my, my voice to sound Okay, like try it. and get it to fucking run at me, go over, and I don't hear it, and it just leaps behind Okay, me. okay, go. ready? <laughs> <laughs> hello. Wait, it's coming back. Oh, it's loud. <laughs> <laughs> fucking dumbass. <laughs> yeah, but f- five of us stood in the lift. One farted. Who, d- what was the smell? It didn't smell. It was the volume, but everyone was sort of like head down. But no it was just laughed. one fucker. No one laughed. But someone sniggered, but I knew it was this one dude. Sorry? Someone sniggered. 
Don't even try and get me cancelled. That Guys, is a normal fucking that. word. Clip that. I will literally end the pod right now. Is it CK or DGG? It's, it's up to you, bro. You just said that with a hard R. It's CK. Snickered. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> a fucking chocolate bar all of a sudden. It, yeah. I think it's with a CK. Or God, it the CK. I can't remember. You fired. No, I didn't. Someone else did. And then, but I knew it was this one fucker because I could see, I looked up a little bit and he was side eyeing everyone like this waiting to see. So it was obviously him. Because everyone else kept their head down. I don't know why no one said anything. We were just sort of. Did he move his legs? Because I feel like that's an indication. No, he bounced off the wall. (laughs) (laughs) I feel like it's an indication when someone's moving or coughs. Have you ever tried to mask your farts? No. What did you do the other day? Didn't you laugh and fart at the same time? Oh, I did. Watching yeah. the vlog. Yeah. Watching I'll- our own <laughs> fucking video, you laugh farted by accident. But that was a pure happiness one. That was a coincidence. Like, I caught me off guard. Like, as soon as it happened, I was like, <laughs> I was you weren't like, even holding what? it in. It just fucking I came was, from somewhere. You know when you're teetering a fart? Yeah. Do you enjoy that? No. Do you enjoy holding in a number two? No. In fact, and then letting it out. In fact, I'm pretty sure I was the only person ever to experience this. Did you ever play hide and seek as a kid? Yeah, I told you. I hid from everyone, even including the police. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's because you fucking committed a crime, bro. Yeah. But oh, and I remember the policeman. I don't think you were there. Your mum told me this. So when you were hiding for so long, um, there was a fire at the school, mm. and the police was like, he might have set fire to the school yeah they thought that was me yeah and they said uh really arson and they went we don't know yet <laughs> <laughs> and dad jokes have arrived early <laughs> i hope they're better than that later in the episode fucking hell. <laughs> what were we even just fucking talking about um why'd you ask me about hide and seek that's it because when we were playing hide and seek i always just instantly Wanting to shit myself. <laughs> as soon as we were hiding. I do it now. Yeah. It's weird. Like, Le Guion will come home from work and I'll hide. We don't do that all the time. Yeah, it's not every day. <laughs> every day hiding from Gui. But there's sometimes I hide and I'm texting him saying, find me. And all I want to... All I want to do is... Come and find me. All I want to do is shit myself. Really? It's bad. Do you think it's nerves or... It's like the idea of like, oh my God. <laughs> He's going to find me and nothing's going to happen. <laughs> Let me just shit everywhere. Now, I do remember, though, playing hide and seek as a kid. It was when I was in my house when it was being built. Yeah. Extended. So there was, like, places to hide. And um, I remember I shat myself one time. Like I was literally like, oh, my God, like, I have to win this game. <laughs> I just pooed myself. Was that the last time you shit yourself? I think so. I remember where I was the exact moment the last time I shit myself. Where were you? I was five or six years old. I was at the park where I grew up. Okay. And I was in goal. We had two jumpers as the posts. And my friend had a big boombox speaker thing, like one you had to carry. Yeah. And he was playing Mr. Bombastic. (laughs) And I was doing this. Oh, dear. I was dancing in goal to Mr. Bombastic, wearing pants, not even boxers, like pants that would catch it. And I shit myself. Like, no idea why. <laughs> like, I think I was just holding in a poo to play football. That's fucking cool. So I had to go to my friend's house who owned the boombox. Yeah. Pull the pants down a bit. Go from underneath. And I just flicked it. From, from Flicked the pants. And the poo just went and landed in the toilet. What? Yeah. Just flicked it from the bottom. Your friend flicked your pants? No. No. What the fuck? No. I went into the toilet at six. Pulled my pants <laughs> down to, like, my thighs. Crouched a little bit. <sighs> Came from behind, flicked it, and it just fucking went like that. That is like a slingshot. Fucking mental, by the yeah, way. Yeah, that was the last time I shit myself. When I was six, it was like a slingshot. It literally went and up and down. And you just put the pants back on, and you just no. I think I took them off. Put them on my head. No, <laughs> <laughs> no. I think I took them off and just went uh, commando back to the football pitch. You didn't even wipe your ass. Don't know. What age did you stop wiping your own ass? I mean. <laughs> What age did you start wiping your own ass, not stop? Um, I really don't know. I think it was around like... I reckon I was later than most. I think I was like four or five. Yeah. I think I was around four or five. Yeah, 14, 15. 
<laughs> no, I don't know how old I was. I think I was probably later than most. I think I was like five, yeah. Five I do six. I do know someone who was like 14 that still had other people wiping his ass. Really? Yeah. That's so emasculating when you think about it now, getting on all fours so your mum can wipe your butt. I never did that. I never got on all fours. What did you do? Just stood up. Yeah, same. I, don't, I was just thinking of other Why people. Why you on all fours? No, I wasn't. I was just thinking of how emasculating that would be. <laughs> yeah. What age did you... Have you always wiped sat down? Sometimes I switch up. I used to stand up and wipe for a long time. I just, yeah, because I'm caked up a little bit. Mm. I, you you don't stand up all the way. You crouch and like. No, I used to just stand bolt upright. Yeah, that's fucking mental. And they'd close. And then it would like s- stick on your ass. That's disgusting. No, but you'd wipe it all off. Obviously, it just make the process longer than it needed to be when you do it sat down. Mental. And then how often do you pee? Sat down. Oh, every time. Every time. Yeah, every, every time. time. I just remembered the last time I shat myself, I was actually 21. Really? Were you drunk? I'll say it at a million followers. Oh, God's sake. On what? TikTok. Okay. It was that story. It's the last, it's the final. Oh, my God. Is it's, that the story you were saving? There's yeah. two stories you're saving now. No, there's not. Yeah, there is. There's, what's the one I was... There's a story about the last time you shit yourself. Which is the one I'm talking about. Yeah, and then there's another story that happened in summer 2020, which you keep putting off summer 2020 the whole of summer 2020 you spent oh which yeah, you keep putting yeah, yeah, off yeah. the whole story about your yeah, wife but that, that's a sad one that will be a a sad podcast a full ep. <laughs> that, that, i reckon that will be like a full ep of just you crying it'll be a, thera- <laughs> it will therapy, be a therapy session, session with like what 7k people listening to fucking you cry just laugh at me yeah yeah all on spotify <laughs> i've got a confession from a viewer Ooh. Have you ever thought about having sex with the earth? What? Uh, this video confession says, since watching Saltburn, all I can think of is how much I want to feel like I'm inside the earth. That Have you ever felt this way? Stop. That is what? <laughs> that is, uh, we have those viewers. Yeah, someone watches us who watches Saltburn and reacts to it, thinking, I want to try this. That is fucking minging. Now I'm just thinking of that scene. Someone wants to try that. Someone loves the earth that much, they want to get inside it. Into the core of the earth. No one's that big. <laughs> no, no, probably not. No one is that big. Mandingo. He's the, getting close to the core. He could break the crust. <laughs> that is disgusting. <laughs> yeah, but so, yeah, someone who watches us wants to have sex with the earth. Yeah, but does that mean like, is someone under there? No, they. Well, I don't know. He said watching Saltburn. Is, is it going to be Felix? Is it going to be Felix? Is it, is it going to be my bike that's under there? Are we just a rubber <laughs> bunk? <laughs> What would you suggest to this person? Get fucking help. Yes. I would go to an anonymous board. Go to an anonymous board. At the NHS and say, I want to shag dirt. I need help. I need help. Seriously, someone said that. Yeah. What the fuck? They think it's, and it is anonymous, so we'll never know who this wants. It's definitely you. You just wanted to see my opinion. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. We have someone written it. I can't think of anything worse than having sex with mud. People definitely are into that. 100%. Do you think? Yeah, because yeah. someone, the director and writer of Saltburn had to think of, oh no, no, Barry made that scene on Bar- his yeah, own. Yeah, Barry made that scene on his what own. What the fuck was going through his head? He must have been so in character, but to get into character, it's kind of you as well. So like you're thinking about that. So Take my earth. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking nuts though. Oh, Felix. What is the world getting to? Some people are getting too comfortable with... Mm, I wasn't in love with... Is that a film of 12? Or a 15? It's got to be a 15. It's got to be an 18, I reckon. Back in the day, that would have been taken off cinema. No, it wouldn't. Bro. Mate, some of the films from the 80s... There's a film in the 80s about people eating animals. They actually did it. <laughs> they actually... That is fucking mental. They killed animals and that had to eat them crazy. like in the film. Because I know Clockwork, Clockwork Orange... You weren't allowed to see that in the UK. Wait, I've just thought about it. They had to kill and eat animals. But people eat animals in films all the time. They don't eat fake chickens. What? So, yeah. what? When you said animals, I thought it was going to be like... Like, ad- like not like most... Yeah, not like cheap. Yeah. And like standard practice. No, I think it was... Yeah, let me try and find it. Talk, what were you talking about? Yeah, Clockwork Orange. That yeah, was banned yeah. in the UK. A l- like lo- a lot of films were banned in the UK weirdly I think uh, in the 80s I'm pretty sure it was like Margaret Thatcher was pretty harsh on like film 
and what gets shown. And I'm pr- I'm I'm almost certain that Clockwork Orange was banned in the UK because of politics. Was it not a UK film? Yeah. Yeah. And it was banned in the UK. Damn. In the milk bar. <laughs> the Corona milk bar. The film was called uh, Hannibal... No, Cannibal Holocaust. What? And it came out in like in 1980 or something. Uh, 98? 1980. Oh, 1980. <laughs> Since its original release, Cannibal Holocaust has been the target of censorship. Uh, other than the graphic core, the film contains several scenes of sexual violence and genuine cruelty to animals. Oh my God. And it says... Um, it achieved notoriety, graphic violence, great deal of controversy, etc., etc. I think the director, yeah, the director was put in prison. Was arrested. Yeah. On obscenity charges, he was later charged with multiple counts of murder due to rumors that claimed several actors were killed on camera because it was filmed in like some really random like what? South American country or something like that. And like that gave me goosey. Yeah, but it says that he was cleared of the charges of murder. The film has been banned in Italy, Australia, loads of countries. In, because there's real sexual assault real violence to animals it's fucking weird man that is mental and it's an That's, actual film yeah well I can understand what well, and that didn't get banned in the UK don't think so nah surely it says several other countries but I feel like the UK would probably be listed as one of the main ones but it says Australia and if Clockwork Orange got banned 100% that, that must have 100% really abused animals for a film and I, I feel like films have become way more lenient at what you can do now and in back of the day... Do you reckon? Yes, like Saltburn would not be allowed back in the 70s, 100%. you reckon? Oh, maybe actually. They did filter a lot of stuff. Yeah, for sure. Even swearing, like there was a count on how many swear words you can say in a film. Now you can say unlimited. No, it'll be rated like 18, No, it'd still be rated, but I meant like a film be wasn't be allowed to be made or shown or whatever. Yeah, you'd have to cut out swear words and stuff. Mm-hmm. Which I never understand. Words are just words. Yeah, but my nan... Back in the day, she was like, if you swore, it's like a big thing. And she remembers telling a policeman that a homeless person said the F word. And she I'm told pretty, a poli- your nan's yeah. a snitch. Well, she was like seven or eight. And she was like, I remembered like, what was I thinking? <laughs> she yeah. was like, oh, I'd never heard that word before. So I had to tell a policeman. And now everyone says it all the yeah. f- flipping time. Flipping egg. <laughs> uh, have your family ever dragged you somewhere you really didn't want to be? Because we were talking about being National Trust members off camera a while I, ago. There was a phase where, which I'm glad I went to it. Yeah. But my dad, my mum and dad were like obsessed with taking me to like famous dead people's graves. Really? Yeah. So like C.S. Lewis, uh, George Orwell. Yeah. Uh just other famous people L- loads, loads of famous people But yeah Because there's a lot of famous people Weirdly buried in Oxford Yeah uh, so, Churchill Yeah Churchill Shit like that And uh, Yeah I just remember being like Oh my god It's a Saturday And we're going to a grave And we're going to a grave And my dad was like Yeah but this is like History And back then I'd be like This is so boring But now I'm like Oh I really appreciate that Because it was fun You re- Would you find it fun now Going to a grave I wouldn't find it it wouldn't be my idea of fun, but like I would like it be would more be respectful. it would be more respectful and I'd like know that this person in the grave actually made history. Like I didn't see it like that. Like this person changed the course of history for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I remember going to National Trust growing up. No, but they, they were fun. They weren't when no, you were eight were. years old. Yeah, but they you weren't. were in the same situation as me. You had two older siblings. I had two older siblings. You used to just fuck about with them. And you knew that that was a day of like, you shouldn't be fucking about with them, but you did. So it was like funny. Yeah, exactly. My dad was chasing me around the gardens. That's the only <laughs> memory I have from the <laughs> National Trust. Do you ever go to like Warwick Castle? Yeah, loads. Yeah, that was class. That was the first time I ever wanted to be a knight. <laughs> Go to Warwick Castle, I saw them in their armor with their swords and I just wanted to be a knight. And I thought, I I never told you about this. We used to play Robin Hood growing up, the people in my village where I grew up. There was just one bush and we'd all go in it and climb up the tree and have bow and make, sit there <laughs> with pocket knives. Well, and you'd do, Just scratching away at wood to make arrows. And you'd hit innocent civilians. No, we, that's not what Robin Hood did. Yeah, it did. He didn't hit an Ill- Ill- Oh no, Robin Hood... Stole, stole from, from the, the rich, rich to give to the poor, which now makes them rich. So he has yeah. to take it back and give it to the poor. <laughs> it's a never ending cycle. But he, what? So you stole from rich people? No, nah, we just sort of sat in this bush up the tree. That's and I had like a felt backpack, like a felt, 
with a, with a black strap that I wore over my shoulder that had arrows that I'd made. I'm not Stop. joking. Stop, man. And then I think I had a bow and arrow as well. Mental. But I never like fired them at anyone or anything. Yeah, you did. No, but I just remember I was Robin, Robin and You're... then there was like the Tucker or whatever he's called and then Little John. The, the, other, home, the other peasants. And we'd all just walk around like thinking we were wildlife <laughs> like experts walking around this one big like... But I swear your village wasn't tree very tree it was where the new estate is right used to just be a field really yeah, okay forests and trees and okay stuff. and there was a ditch that had water <laughs> that we'd build bridges over <laughs> even oh. though you could jump it we'd build bridges i feel like kids don't do that nowadays no like, my kid is going to be outside all the time yeah but will he i will make him i'm not giving him a flipping phone no i'm not giving an ipad or anything no, no. chance no uh, that, i think that's I understand parenting is so hard. Yeah. And if you're out for a meal with a kid and the only way to shut them up and for you to have a nice time is giving an iPad in, yeah. I, I get it. But I want to try and get to the point where my kid can just sit. And enjoy and, and talk. Just, yeah, and not have to be on an iPad when they're mm. five. Just to shut up. Yeah. But I mean, it is so hard. Like, I'm not, I've never had a kid, so I'm not... I mean, I look after my niece and nephews sometimes. I just think it's well sad when, like, like what you said... Like, play, like, imagining you are Robin Hood and shit. They will never do that. No. Like, that's just a gone speciality it is i think it is gone i don't think any uh, do, you, do you reckon a big reason is that it's because parents don't want kids outside anymore because they're scared of like how fucking, the world has gone how crazy it is maybe now. to be fair i was out all the time i had eight different professions throughout my childhood <laughs> i was a jedi <laughs> i used to take the clothes out of the washing basket and sit in it like i was yoda in his tiny little house i'm not joking <laughs> me, me and my friend me and my friend who we were born two weeks apart so we grew up together just playing in our houses we used to have a washing basket each that we'd sit in <laughs> and then we'd poke our head out and like pretend the enemy was coming and we, i had lightsabers that light up everything my childhood was so fun or oh. i made my mum <laughs> i made my mum come in with a pushable trolley uh with sweets on it and ask anything from the trolley dear <laughs> legit i made my mum do that i would sit i'd sit at my desk with a tub of ink and a feather and i would tap it in and i would write spell names that i was trying to think up and i would get mum to come in with a little tiny blue not even a trolley it was a tiny blue thing that just kept like books on it and stuff and I'd, it had wheels and i'd fill it up with chocolate bars and random stuff and she'd ask me and i'd give her fake coins in exchange for the sweets and that was my childhood i was like harry potter then i was robin hood then i was a jedi i just was always playing and i would just oh my god oh my god that was so fun <laughs> I never had a dull moment. Anything from the trolley? And then I was a footballer. So I was playing football anyway. Yeah. For Yarnton. And after the game, I would make my mum interview me. <laughs> so I'd, <laughs> I'd stand up against a white background, a white wall. And I would stand there with my hands behind my back. And she would have a pen and paper. <laughs> and she would ask me questions that I'd prepared for her to ask me. And she'd ask me and then pretend to write down what I was saying. She'd just scribble. And I'd be like, yeah, it's a good game today. Uh, <laughs> what, you did it in the footballer's voice there? Yeah. Yeah. Like I'd speak slowly and like, am. Like I'd be like, uh, yeah, I think we played well. Obviously, my teammates were great. Got, happy to get on the score sheet. Like proper. <laughs> I had so many professions. And then I was a cook. So you, me, and, me and my mum would watch Jamie Oliver and sh I'm not joking. The, the show was half an hour growing up, right? Mm -hmm. Jamie Oliver's half an hour. It would take us an hour and a half to get through it because I'd make her pause so I could write down what he was doing. And like the ingredients would come up on like an animation on the screen and I would write down mm. everything he was doing. Three <laughs> carrots, da -da -da, chop them finely. And I never made anything. I was eight. You just wrote it down. Just wrote it down in a notebook and drew carrots in it and stuff. I, I was kind of the same. I had like a plastic pizza when mm -hmm. I was young with all the ingredients and I would pretend to like bake it with like the cupboard like it was a pizza oven so my mum would come in and be like oh yeah can I have um can I have that pizza with this topping and I'd be like coming right up <laughs> <laughs> uh, kids I just feel like they don't do that no, they're not no, gonna do that oh my niece dresses up a lot okay like she wears she, I used to dress up as well I used to dress up as Wonder Woman right I don't know why I chose Wonder Woman yeah but, why out of all of them yeah I don't know <laughs> I used to dress up as Wonder Woman and now my niece she dresses up as like loads of stuff like Rapunzel and stuff like that it's actually like crazy to think of because when you were a kid and you just went into a forest it was like 
anything was how you imagined it. Yeah, I've got kids' imagination is amazing though. My, I remember a story my niece told me and my sister the other day. She said that she met the Grinch, <laughs> and me and my sister were like what? So she watches the animated Grinch film, loves yeah, it. Yeah. She was like, oh, I met the Grinch, and we just go along with it. So we're like, oh really? Like when? And she was like, oh, I just walked down to the pub, and we were like. <laughs> She's four. I'm not joking. She's four. She was like, oh yeah, I just, uh, mummy and daddy were out. I just walked down to the pub, met the Grinch. And we were like, really? How was it? And she was like, yeah, no, he was fine. Just, <laughs> just sat at the pub with him. And she's four. So she's obviously like heard this, like, oh, let's go down the pub tonight or like sunning. And so she's met the Grinch. And I was like, wow. At the pub. She met Grinch at the pub where they live. She walked down on her own. She's made it up. Entirely made it up. That's quality. It's so good. Their imagination is just the best thing ever. Where's that gone with us? Yeah. Now we're fucking talking about red flags and shit. <laughs> Let's go play in the forest as Robin Hood. Why don't we play in the forest? Why don't we? Let's just leave our phones in a cage. Yes. In a, in a safe that only Gwion knows the code to. He'll forget it. <laughs> only we write it down on a bit of paper, fold it, put it somewhere, forget yep, about it. Yep. And then we just go for a weekend, no phone. Yeah, I'll do that. And just play in the forest. Yeah, and we got to play as like... We like can I, only survive off what is in the forest. Like I, I used to always pretend I was Indiana Jones. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, have a whip. And like making a swing or a zip line. Yes, from scratch. You just find a bit of wood, a bit of rope, tie it around, climb up a tree, tie it around and then just swing and you'd be yeah. happy for hours. But now it's like health and safety. Like I feel like parents now are like, don't do that, you'll get hurt. But like back in the day, if a kid got hurt, that just means that he like he knows not to do it again. Do you know yeah, I, mean? I thought I was gonna. I almost died at one point. I was riding my bike mm. and I had no brakes, and I forgot I had no brakes. And there was a bridge, and then two, you know, like <clears throat> the metal bars that would like be not adjacent, like one behind the other, to try mm -hmm. and make you slow down on a bridge. So you had to go in and out of them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I tried to brake so I could quickly turn, and they just didn't brake, and I just hit my throat on the metal bar Ooh. like straight on it, and I was like, Egh. I literally thought I was dying. Damn. Yeah, but I didn't do it again. Yeah, getting hit in the throat is horrible yeah oh because I, I, I remember our um our fucking pe teacher peter Bro peter rose brown right he was our pe teacher why he came in for like once oh no, no he was your primary school yeah, PE teacher. Was our yeah, primary, yeah, yeah. yeah and i remember he said oh was it him i don't know if it was him or, or an assistant or something we were playing hockey mm. so we had the hockey sticks and he was like uh or, or whoever it was was like okay like uh get in a line and hit the ball as mm. far as you can let's see your swing and he so he got us in a line i was second in the line yeah and someone just went and, to, and it whacked me so hard in the throat i just couldn't speak i was like <laughs> yeah and, like shit like that and now i would i don't think i ever played hockey after that ever yeah. good because i was just like i don't want to get hit in the throat like like you, you just carrying big wooden sticks around with <laughs> each other. rather do that in the forest bro yeah exactly <laughs> Worst dad jokes of all time, go. I've actually got a prop for this dad joke. Yeah. Let me just find it. Um. Ah. Uh. Mate, we've done some <laughs> fucking terrible <laughs> jokes. That might be the worst <laughs> one we've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> You wasted your time, George. Why is the circle of it so far across? <laughs> I've always wondered, how do you get dick from Richard? <laughs> <laughs> you flirt with him. <laughs> Guess who I bumped into when I was getting my glasses fixed today? Who? Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> my friend was showing me his tool shed today and pointed to a ladder. Okay. He said, that's my step ladder. Or rather, the ladder that stepped up. <laughs> <laughs> the ladder that stepped up. <laughs> I rushed to the hospital today and as I got there, the doctor said, I'm very sorry, Matthew, but your father is pronounced dead. I said, I've been calling him John this whole time. <laughs> I started a nightclub for men with erectile dysfunction. Okay. It was a total flop and nobody came. <laughs> Oh, 
fuck's sake. <laughs> the waiter came up and said to me, comfortable, sir? I said, no, I came for the food. Comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I asked my wife if the cup was half full or half empty. Right. She said, For the last time, stop wearing my bras. That is so important. An armed robber ran into an estate agent and said, Nobody move! <laughs> <laughs> cheating or not cheating? Hit me with them. If she sleeps with somebody else in her dream. <laughs> oh, come on. I uh, cheated. <laughs> but it's not fucking happening in real life, is it? Okay, so if you and your girlfriend just, just notice something. Yep. <laughs> No, 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 no. And you have to say to her, Oh my god, it's Stephen Hawking's moonwalking. <laughs> <laughs> that is cheating. Yeah? Yeah. But the same, it's like wearing sunglasses throughout all of summer. That's why men do that, by the way. So, no, they're, they're not all perverts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have sunglasses. You've got eight on rotation for each day of the week. <laughs> If someone that you used to talk to like seven plus years ago hits you up saying, how's life treating you? Do you reply? Is you replying? Cheating. No, because I think you'll, you'll, no, but you'll want to find out what the flip they want. But then if they carry it on from Why that, do you care? Oh, because people I'm, get anxious Lloyd, when someone asks them a question. Waving, it, waving that red flag. Wave the white one and surrender. <laughs> <laughs> Refusing to swap phones when some nitty asks you to do it for a TikTok. <laughs> that's not cheating it's not cheating I don't, well, some people aren't going to want to be stopped in the street by some dude going do you trust each other throw up fans <laughs> some people might not I can do it when we're home or even straight after just not on camera with some noob shoving a mic in my face <laughs> she goes out for dinner with her work bestie they're probably at, at work the other colleagues probably call him your work husband yeah so that's probably cheating right? that, they nine are. times out of ten they are, they're getting down and dirty. They're eye fucking each other at work every single oh, day. Oh god, yeah. And then across the table at dinner. Exactly. On the table after dinner. Don't even want to think about that. Don't trust them. She tells other guys the UV index before you. The UV index? Yeah. What's that? Every girl is obsessed with the UV index. Okay. So she's telling Wait, well, you don't get told the UV index by no. any girl. I don't even know what the UV index is. <laughs> I can't believe you're in there now. I can't uh, what, ultraviolet? Yeah. What, like how hot it's going to be? No, that's not the correlation. The what correlation is a UV index is it's like how high is the UV? I think that's just you, buddy. Every girl is obsessed with the UV index. <laughs> <laughs> if your girl listens to this, is it a red or a green flag? Let's bring it back, baby. Benson Boone. <sighs> <laughs> green. Oh. Because although TikTok's got a hold of him, yes, I think that he's a nice guy, makes nice music. Okay. It couldn't be read. Yeah. <laughs> Please. Stay. Jack Johnson. What, from Jack and Jack? Or you mean the one who does banana pancakes? Banana pancakes. Yeah, that's green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their songs just all sound the same now. I thought you were talking about... And it's flights to LA, trips to <laughs> Paris. We can talk, but we can kill less. That's Jack Galinsky, buddy. That's... Well, and Jack Johnson. Ah. Both of them. Country music in general. Greenest of green. Are you sure? All the greens. Any country music artist. Shabuzi. Ooh. Morgan Wallen. Okay, what about Glenn Campbell? Yeah. You don't know who that is? No idea. No, I know who that is. That's disrespectful. Rhinestone Cowboy. Okay. Okay. He's dead as well. D Block Europe. I've never listened to a D Block Europe song. What do you think? You take the reins. Red flag. Really? I saw a D Block Europe song 
Europe. <laughs> Should we go to Europe for <laughs> summer break? I saw a DBE song yep. the other day and it was like auto-tuned to fuck. Even the drums were auto-tuned. Fuck knows how they did it, but it was just like... Ultra aggressive. And I'm like, who... who it, the fu- if if anyone is listening to that, it ain't my girl. Yeah. <laughs> Cardi B. <laughs> probably red. Come on. Don't red. say probably. Red, 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 <laughs> red, 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 red. I'm sure Cardi's quite funny to be fair. What but. if she is lip syncing every single lyric in the club? <laughs> <laughs> every lyric. She says a word in there that. Uh, every lyric. Abba Green So green So green So, so green. green So green Voulez-vous So green <laughs> So green I don't have any more What do you want to comment? Glass water bottle Give him an easier one Okay When it's hard there's less okay. comments you, Okay Just comment Water bottle Water bottle And We posted a vlog We did It's we, at 3,000 views in two days Yeah and you guys liked it. Yeah, that's good for us. So many comments, which we really like. We, we honestly love comments. Just comment anything you want and we will reply to it. Every single one. Every single comment. Like the video, subscribe, notifications on, 5,000 Spotify. Go and check the vlog out on the other channel, Lloyd and Matt. Bosh. And we'll see you in episode 55. Goddamn. God damn. God damn.